happy fun, happy fun time. Yes. Hello my wonderful royals and welcome to my YouTube channel Brick K-Pop Reacts and today I am checking out yet another new group for me and the group in question is La Boom um, who I have heard a lot about uh, on the Discord and whatnot um, previously. I'm excited to finally get the chance to check out this group that of course come back fairly recently with uh, Kiss Kiss I think the song was called. Um, I've still not checked that one out. Um, I was going to check it out um, at the time, didn't get the chance in the end. Um, so it's kind of it kind of went off my radar and I've kind of put it on the back burner a little bit um, But I am intending to check it out, but my thinking was so this this uh, reaction right now Is a patron request from the wonderful Tristan on my patrons. Thank you so much for this request um, And he has requested two other songs of La Booms, uh, namely uh, Hui Hui, Hui Hui, which is, I assume is how you pronounce that um, and Journey to Atlantis, which sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so those are the two he's requested. So I thought, you know what, I'll do this patient request, we'll check these two out, and then I'll check out the new one. Um, just so that I've got a bit more kind of background and stuff on this group, I know them a bit better when I finally check out the, the recent comeback. Um, so that is the plan today. I cannot wait to check these two songs out. I've heard a lot about both of these songs, uh, like I say, from the Discord and, and whatnot and places like that, um, where people have been talking this group up. So I have heard a lot about this group. I'm excited to finally get the chance to check them out. They have been on my radar for a while, um, so I cannot wait. Uh, if you are new here, hello. If you are a fan of this wonderful group, please do get involved in my comments section. Um, and of course, give me member information, group information, all that good stuff. That would be fantastic. Um, if I do like what I see here and like what I hear, which I've got a feeling I will, um, based on everyone's recommendations um then i'm going to want to know information about this group so please do get involved in the comments and give me all that good stuff that would be fantastic in terms of what i already know about this group um because i have checked out a few things on them um just to get the basics down um for this group so i think Le Boom are a six member group initially um i think members left though so i think it's at this point at the point i'm doing today the songs i'm doing they are a six member group but i know that i think two members have left since that point and for the recent comeback there's only four members but i am aware of all that um and i think they debuted in 2014 i believe um and i think the songs i'm doing today are from around 2017 somewhere around there um i am vaguely aware of some of the members um, in terms of names i think there's one called hayen <laughs> i think there's one i think they've got a soyon i believe um a soyon and um i think yujong was one of the members that left um, and a few of them, I think, were on the unit, weren't, weren't they? The, the reality survival show. Um, and I did react to Unity uh, fairly recently on the channel. I think is it Zien? I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, Zien was on that in that group and in the MVs that I watched, uh, which is awesome. Um, so I am aware uh, to a degree of her. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got some knowledge on this group, some background knowledge, but not a lot, obviously. So please do get involved in the comments and let me know all that good stuff. That would be fantastic. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this reaction, please drop us a like, drop us a comment, and of course, subscribe to my lovely self. Join the royal family, become a royal yourself, and help me out on the road to 40k subscribers. Um, I cannot wait to hit that milestone. So any help towards that goal would be fantastic. But with all that being said, guys, we are just going to get straight into this thing because I can't possibly, possibly wait any longer to finally, finally check out this incredible group that I've heard so much about today. It is La Boom time. Let's do this. So this is the wonderful La Boom with uh, Hui Hui, uh, which is the one I'm starting with, the official music video. This came out in April of 2017. Um, one of the other things I found out about this group as well is apparently the name uh, La Boom comes from the French word that means the party, I think, or something like that, the party, I think. Um, so yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a tidbit there. So I, was, I, I sort of saw it and I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. Um, hui hui, let's do it. Oh, I'm giddy, I'm excited. Finally. Oh, it feels like a long time coming, this does. Oh, it's, it's cute already. But look at them. Who's that with the red? Oh. 
Oh, I love those like coupled vocals. <laughs> Happy fun, happy fun times. Yes. Oh, really slow down the choreo on that. That, oh yeah. Who's the mum? Who's <laughs> the mum? Right, that, that. Right, I can't, I, wait, wait. <laughs> I've got too many things buzzing around in my head right now and I need to, I need to process. I need to process. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. I, I do, I look, I already love the vibe of the song. I already love the feel of the song. It's very, it's very fun. It's very bubbly. It's very cute. It's, it's got that just happy energy that I always enjoy. And I know that a lot of, kind of regular viewers of this channel um, will certainly know that this kind of thing is, you know, is always going to get me. Um, so I'm, I'm massively into that. The song and everything is really fun. I love that the girls are delivering it perfectly. I love um, some of this choreo I really like with this song. I love the fact that with those lines where they kind of slow it down. They kind of, I love the fact that they're slowing the choreo down to match it. And these little like, like these moves that they're doing are just really like yes. I've, the way they're doing it is just something about it is just grabbing me. It just gets me. I uh, I can't deal. This this blonde one. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? She kind of gave me like. Um, there was one shot where I saw her, so I noticed her for the first time, and she kind of gave me like Hegian vibes a little bit from Luna. In a way, just in the, like her, her face. I don't know if that's actually the case, or whether it's just in that one shot. I just glanced her and thought, "Oh, Legion." <laughs> I don't know. So it's probably not accurate at all. But that's kind of what what she was giving me, which is a very positive thing with me because Legion is my lunar bias and one of my strongest biases that I have. So <laughs> that's a very big compliment. Um, I I, oh, I can't write. Oh, okay, go, go, okay, go. I don't care if I, I'm confused. I'm all over the place, but I need to continue. I love that. The wing, the wing. My brain's frazzled. Look at this. Look, she's, she's getting me as well. Yeah, this bundle. I can't deal. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the chorus, the chorus. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. I love that. Look at that. Stop doing the close ups. I can't have fucking look at these. Oh. I feel like this is a bit of an old school thing. Like do you still, I mean, you do still see it, but I feel like it's very like an old school. You know, when I get, when I think back to like my SNSD videos and all that, like my older SNSD content that I did when I reacted to all of them. Like it reminds me of those kind of videos where you always get those like stunning close up shots where I'll just like close in on every member and I'll just do these little like winks or smiles or like kisses to the camera and shit like that. And it'll just like wreck my brain. <laughs> like, I feel like it's quite an old school thing to do. Um, and this is only 2017, but like I say old school. <laughs> Not that old school. But I don't know. I just, it's something that I can't deal with. I can't deal with it at all. I like this, like, there's suddenly like Halloween aesthetic going on. <laughs> like, I don't know what. Like the one in the coffin and stuff. <laughs> that I can't, who's this blonde lady? Who is she? Tell me. Please, with the redhead as well. Uh, this song is a bomb. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bomb. It's a bomb. 
Hello. Oh, oh, who's the fortune teller? A vocal? I think I found your voice, Tristan, I'm assuming. The orchard. So I should hope you are. It's your request. Mate, no. love that so much right the bar came up and i'm assuming that made it lag for you guys and i apologize if that's the case so we're playing it again because i'm not disres disrespecting these girls because of some bullshit that youtube wants to throw at me i say youtube it's not youtube's fault it's the fucking mouse's fault it's my mouse fault i'm not disrespecting these girls because of shit that you want to throw at me and yes i'm staring directly at my mouse right now i'm telling it off behave Calm down. Like this little. I love that. It's like. like it's like locking and throwing away the key. That kind of thing. I, sure. oh, I can't do it. Oh, who are you? Sometimes 20 years to reach perfection. I need to process what I've just seen. I haven't got time to be dealing with Schwartz right now. Nobody's got time to be dealing with Schwartz right now. Unless you're cooking, and I'm not cooking right now. I'm not cooking. It's not Christmas yet. Piss off. For God's sake. I mean, it's pretty close. To be fair. Oh, um, why is there another one? Oh, fucking I wouldn't mind Christmas adverts if not for the fact that I've had to deal with them for the last, like, two months. For no reason. At Not on the High Street, you'll find extraordinary oh. gifts for everyone on your list. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is the best case scenario here? I'm going to go, oh, that looks interesting. I'm going to go and buy it right now. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's not going to happen. I don't care about your grandma. Fuck off. I can't deal with it. Fuck's sake. Oh. You've made me slag off someone's grandma now. That was very mean, wasn't it? You made me do that. Look what you made me do. Oh. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's all happening. It's all happening. Oh. I can't cope with it. Right. I feel like, is it bad that I feel strangely bad for slagging off my mouth? <laughs> for telling off my mouth? Oh, I want to grab it and just like cuddle it and say, it's okay, man. It's okay. I'm sorry. I apologise. I love you really, pal. I love you really. Um, oh, fucking hell. Laboom. <laughs> they were good, weren't they? They were good. Um, absolutely amazing. I, pff, yes. All the way, yes. It felt like like one of those sort of classic K-pop, you know, like even down to the like the MV and the outfits they were wearing and stuff, especially like like during the start and like the class, you know, when it went back to like the chorus and things and they were doing the dancing and stuff. They were kind of wearing those outfits to, that I kind of associate with kind of classic K-pop. <laughs> like, and when I say that, I, do, I mean kind of that kind of cutesy, not, not, is cutesy the right word? I don't know. Uh, the the best comparison I can give is like G friend, like kind of older G friend style, that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of classic kind of K-pop, one of those classic K-pop um, styles that I feel like is very much synonymous with the genre, um, and it felt very much like that. Uh, in terms of like style and things, even the song itself, but it had a bit of an edge to it as well. It had a bit of an edge. It gave it a bit more than just being like that like, kind of cute song. Like it had a bit more to it than that. Um, and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was a proper bot. The, the MV was fantastic. I love the girls. I love the, the way they sold it. The way they the way they were on screen and everything. They, they absolutely killed it. I'm big on like visuals and things. I'm big on expression. Like in, in MVs and stuff, I enjoy watching the girls just deliver. And they did <laughs> they really fucking did um so i really appreciate that um the members like i say got me especially blondie should we call her at this point i don't know which members what members who what members which members which 
at this point, which I apologise for. But they let me know the names, obviously, because I feel... I was sort of disrespectful saying, like, the blonde one, or the redhead, but it's all I've got to go on at the moment, so <laughs> I apologise for that. Um, but yeah, the blonde one and um, the redhead particularly stood out to me. Not just because they had coloured hair. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm aware that's prob probably part of the reason, but um, they also stood out in terms of the way they performed. Especially the redhead, I feel like, when she was doing the fortune teller bit and stuff, like, really stood out to me. Um, but all these members slayed. There was a, the big vocals at the end. I don't know who was doing that, but that, that absolutely slayed. Yes. <laughs> absolutely, yes. I'm sold. I'm sold, girls. And now I'm going to find out what else they've got for me with Journey to Atlantis. So this is some more, Laboom, of course, with uh, Journey to Atlantis. Um, the, the title, the song title is confusing here. It says, fourth single album, Fresh Adventure. And then it's got the song title which in Korean, which messes with my brain because I almost want to read this as Fresh Adventure, but that's not the song title, that's the album title. The song is called Journey to Atlantis. Um, and I feel like with a, with a song title like that, you better be ready to deliver because that is a <laughs> that is a beast of a song title. Journey to Atlantis. Like I feel like you have to deliver something big. So I'm expecting something good here. <laughs> so no pressure, girl. This came out in April 2016, so pretty much one year before. Uh, wee wee. Let's do it! Oh! oh. The intro with that auto tune. Yes! They've got a British flag! There's a British flag! <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait, I need to process this shit. Brownie points, girls. Brownie points immediately. British flag in the back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm not big. I'm not big on my nationalism, not at all. Like, I'm really not, to be honest. Um, but still, you know, I appreciate being recognised <laughs> you know, within this music video. I'm not sure why. I'm assuming there's some sort of reason for that, but <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Go, go again. This intro, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna like this. Dude. Oh, it's got that kind of dreamy, glary lighting effect. I really like. Oh my god, how cute. Is that the... Oh my god! Oh shit, I love her voice. Is that redhead from the previous one? I'm in love. No, mate, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with this. Oh, I love the way I love the way this song flows. I love the way it flows. Like from that intro, I was just sold. I was immediately just pulled in by that intro, and it just didn't let up. It didn't let go. I feel like it's 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 really nicely paced. I love the kind of pacing of it. The vocals on it. It's got again. It's got that kind of cute feel. But it's a bit different, like it doesn't feel like... It feels like something unique in a, in a lot of ways. I'm not sure what, really whether it is, but it just, it kind of feels like it's got a, a certain unique quality to it that I really like. It's kind of a little bit of fairy tale. It's a like, oh, yes! I love it! That chorus, mate! I'm, I'm in love with this! I'm in love with this! Again, the girls are just selling it perfectly. They know how to deliver a concept. I'm here for it. Look at them! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wholesome as fuck. What are they actually reacting to there? That's what I want to know. Is that, is that, um, 
here. Blonde lady from the previous. Possibly. <laughs> I think so. Maybe they're based on the face. I feel like it might be. I could be wrong. I apologise if I am. But I, I think it might be. <laughs> Oh my god, look at these! I want to be there. It makes me want to be there. It's so addictive. Oh, it's so catchy. Oh, that Samsung, Samsung, Samsung. Yeah, she's doing my move. Yes, we were we were in sync there. We were in sync. Lady at the front, I was literally doing this as she was doing that. <laughs> Same wavelength, baby. I mean, you know, she's like, this is like, you know, five years in the past, but same wavelength across the time streams. We were connected. That's what I like to think. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do chat some shit now. I really do. <laughs> Thank you. This song is magical. This song is magical. Who is this vocal? Is she the same one from the last one? Vocals, mate. Oh. This chorus. Oh, this chorus. I'm in love with it. Close ups again, mate. The close up, I can't deal with these close ups. A bit slow mode, though. Is this the same as the intro? Mate, I got that is that's that's Bond, the blonde one, isn't it? From the previous one. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't deal with it. I can't deal with you. I, oh. The fact that it bookends it with the, I think that's the same as the intro. That little outro bit was the same as the intro bit. The fact that it bookends it with that, it's such a, it's such a like I, I love that bit. I love that section. Um, so I appreciate that it bookends it that way. And then that chorus is just wonderful and magical. And, oh, oh <laughs> that song, that song was perfect. Oh my god, if that came out now, I'd, I'd just I'd be all over it. Makes me wish I was into K-pop in 2016. <laughs> I really wasn't. Oh, there's freaking credits. Oh, check this out. <laughs> check this out. It's credits, guys. I'm more meant like the instrumental. I really like the instrumental. Wait, were these? Hang on, who were these people? Wait, why did it's listing a bunch of? What's this? Honorary producer. Oh, is this some sort of thing that, that people could like somehow be involved with? I know there was some sort of, um, when I was reading up on it, and I didn't read too much into this because I didn't want to spend ages reading all, everything about the group, but uh, there's something to do with like a donation or some. Like at one point they were funded by something like people could fund, like crowdfund for something or other. I don't know if it was a new album or something. I'm not sure what it was, but there was something like that going off and fans were kind of donating and stuff and they made, you know, a decent amount off it. Um, is this to, is this to do with that, maybe? I, I'm just spitballing, to be honest. I have no idea what this is. But let me know if you know, because... It'd be so cool to get your name on an MV. Monkey King. 
K-pop Dave. <laughs> Good old K-pop Dave. Fuck me out. Oh, I wish my name was Dave. That'd be my name on my channel. Imagine that, K-pop Dave. Oh, I'd love that. Maybe that is a YouTube channel. I have no idea. <laughs> Should I search it? Hang on. K-pop Dave. <laughs> Why not? Why are you? Um, I'm a, that's not you. K-pop Dave. Dave Disky Vlogs. Dave's K-pop music video. This guy. Dave, season two, episode one. <laughs> this guy. CL? Is that the same guy? He's with CL there. Who's Fox Dave? Someone let me know who Dave is. Jesus. Is that, I don't think it's K-pop Dave. I think that's a different thing. K-pop. Why am I searching this guy? What's going on in my life? What's happening to me? I can't find K-pop Dave. I wouldn't know that guy is though, did they? <laughs> the other Dave. The Dave that knows CL, apparently. Um, Jesus. Right, anyway. <laughs> oh, fuck it up. I can't... I... Laboom. Laboom are amazing. That's, that's the point I was making. Um, absolutely. Uh, I, I adored that song. I adored that song. Both these songs, man. Absolutely slay. Absolutely. I love them. I love them both. I'm already hooked on this group. <laughs> I'm already hooked on this group. It's about bloody time. It's about bloody time. Um, absolutely amazing. I love that song. I don't know which one. I think, to be honest, I might prefer the second one. This one, Journey to Atlantis is overall out of the two. That's purely based on first listen. Like I need to listen to both these songs again. I'm looking forward to listening to both these songs again because they really just hit. They really hit. I love I love the just the feel of this group. I um these songs and things, especially that second one, you know, they, they, they kind of give me a bit of a, maybe like a, a bit of a just kind of G-Friend vibe, a bit of a, maybe a bit of All My Girl in there as well. Like some of the kind of fairy tale concepts, those those kind of things, like kind of gives me that kind of vibe as well. Um, not that I'm comparing, I don't mean to compare in, you know, obviously they, they are their own group, they are their own style. Um, but I absolutely love what they bring. I really love the style of it. I really love the, it feels like something we don't get a lot of in K-pop now. Um, feels like a kind of a style that it, you know is kind of leaving almost, and it's a shame because I really love this. I really love this. Um, I don't know if the new song is anything like this, or anything is bringing in this kind of style. Um, I kind of hope so in a way because it's 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 nice. I love it. <laughs> I really love it. Um, both these songs are amazing. I'm sold on these members. I really want to find out who these members are. I'm excited about this group. I'm excited about this group. I don't know how well it... How's the comeback done? The new the new one. Obviously, I'm not going to watch it, but... Just, like, from a... I'm just intrigued to know what kind of numbers we're looking at. Because, like I say, because it is quite relatively low, really. Not hit a million yet. Which is wrong, man! People need to get on this. <laughs> Coming from the guy that's just checked them out for the first time. Um, yeah, I should have got on this group earlier. I really should have. I want to check this out now. Let's... <laughs> we need to get that number up. We need to get that number up. I'm excited about this group, man. I, 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 I love them already. And with that being said, guys, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Please, if you enjoy this reaction, drop us a like, drop us a comment. And of course, subscribe to my lovely self. Join the royal family. Become a royal yourself. Like I say, do, guys, do get in those comments. Uh, let me know information on this group. I really want to know more about this group now for sure. Um, so please do uh, get involved there. That would be fantastic. And I'll see you next time, guys. For the next one, something gay. Oh, and thank you to Tristan before I finish for uh, requesting it, of course. As always, and for your support on the, pa <coughs> on the Patreon, as always, it does mean the absolute world. Uh, and I'll see you next time, guys. Something gay. I love you all. Goodbye.